Two weeks ago, I released this video where I asked for your help with an experiment on the summer solstice. I'll say this first. If you're interested and you've not seen that video yet and you want to take part, the link's in the description. Go and watch that video first, then come back to this one. In that video, I promised you a full instructional video with everything you need to do to take part and everything in between. So this is that video. Let's do science. Hello all and welcome along to another video with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin today though, a quick word from me about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Whether you're just starting out or managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products to content to time, all in one place, all on your terms. Now, you can start a completely personalized website with the new guided design system, Squarespace Blueprint. Choose from professionally created layout and styling options to build a unique online presence from the ground up, tailored to your brand or business, and optimized for every device. Easily launch your website and get discovered fast with integrated, optimized SEO tools, so you show up more often to more people and grow the way you want. And if you've got a shop, you can make checkout seamless for your customers with simple but powerful payment tools, accept credit cards, PayPal, and Apple Pay, and in eligible countries, offer customers the option to buy now and pay later, with Afterpay and Clearpay. And you can measure your end-to-end -end online performance with powerful website and seller analytics. Get insights on top traffic sources, understand how your reach is growing, track sales metrics, and learn where to focus new engagement. It's all the data you need to scale your brand or business, fully integrated and clearly displayed. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial, then when you're ready to launch, squarespace.com slash Simandan for 10% off your first purchase of any website or domain. Right, on with today's video, which is all about the global science experiment that I've got planned on the summer solstice, June the 21st. That is this Saturday, by the way. This is your chance to join hundreds, maybe even thousands of people across the world in collecting simple but powerful evidence that supports the globe. It's based on an idea that's over 2000 years old, but with a modern twist, and something we can all do from our own homes. As I said, it takes place on the summer solstice, which is where the sun is at the highest point in the sky for most of us. Don't worry, you can still do this in the southern hemisphere, which is of course the winter solstice for you. And here's the fun bit, this experiment will completely fall apart if you try to apply it to a flat earth model. So today, I'm gonna to walk you through exactly what we're gonna be doing, how you can take part, and why this just wouldn't make sense on a flat earth. So let's start with what you need. It's incredibly simple. Here's your checklist. A straight stick. The straighter and longer, the better. A tape measure or ruler. A level surface where you can place the stick upright in the ground or on a base. A way to record your data, pen and paper, notes app, whatever works for you. And a camera to take a photo. And that's it. No special equipment, no telescopes, and definitely no lasers. So what are we measuring then? Well. At solar noon on Saturday, June the 21st, the exact moment that the sun is the highest point in the sky for your location in the Northern Hemisphere, you'll be measuring two things. The height of your stick in millimeters and the length of the shadow it casts, again in millimeters. And that's measured from the base of the stick to the tip of the shadow on the ground. From those two values, I can then calculate the solar elevation angle, which is the angle between the sun and the ground where you are. And that will give us the angle of the sun in the sky at your exact location. And if we repeat that at many locations across Earth, we'll see a pattern emerging that only fits on a curved surface. Now, this isn't a new idea. Eratosthenes did a version of this experiment over 2000 years ago in Greece. We all know that story, but crucially, he was not trying to prove the Earth was a ball. He was only trying to find the size of Earth. He already knew its shape. But here's the kicker. Eratosthenes only used two data points and he's still got a result that matches what we know today. Now imagine using that same principle, not with two cities, but with hundreds. That's what we're aiming to do. Hundreds of shadow measurements around the world. Not just along one line of longitude, but scattered over Earth. The more data points we gather, the more detailed and undeniable the pattern becomes. And the harder it is for the flat earthers to explain it away. So, here are the step-by-step -step instructions. Step one. Find your solar noon. Use the link in the description to find the solar noon at your exact location. You drag the red arrow to your rough location, zoom in, make sure it's exactly right, 
change the date to the 21st of June and then scroll down to find your solar noon time. Step two, about 15 minutes before solar noon, set up your stick in a vertical position on a level surface and make sure it's casting a clear shadow. Step three, at the exact time of solar noon, measure the height of the stick from ground to tip and the shadow length from base of stick to shadow tip. Try to measure to the nearest millimeter for the best results. Step four, record your location, city, town or village, your stick height, your shadow length, the time you took the measurement to confirm solar noon accuracy, and any weather notes. By the way, if it's raining or cloudy, don't worry. We'll hopefully have so many data points, we're gonna catch the sun somewhere. Step five, send your data to me via email at simandan at gmail.com. Once I've got all the data, I'll calculate the solar angles and map them geographically. I'm not gonna go into too much on what we should expect to see. That will be explained in the video with all the results and why it will confirm the globe Earth and why it will definitely prove that the Earth is not flat. If hundreds of people around the world can take these measurements and they all match the globe Earth model, the flat earthers will never be able to explain it. And this is the beauty of science. Anyone can test it. We're not relying on NASA. We're not relying on the government. This is just you, your stick, your shadow and your brain. What's even more exciting is this could become the largest community experiment ever. I think if we can get over a thousand participants, then we might be onto something special. Imagine over a thousand of us all over the world contributing to something that no flat earth model would ever be able to explain. Let them try of course, we'll have the data from everywhere. As I said, if we're in the southern hemisphere you can do this experiment too. You still need to find your solar noon on the winter solstice, record everything exactly the same way and send me the results. If you're in, hit the like button, share this video far and wide and comment below where you're going to be measuring from roughly. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. We'll be going over the results in a follow-up video after the solstice. Okay, there we go everyone. Thanks so much for watching. I do hope you're taking part. As I said, please do subscribe so you can all keep up to date on this. Before we go though, another quick word from me about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Just enough time to once again thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Remember, uh, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. Then when you're ready to launch, squarespace.com slash Simon for 10% off your first purchase of any website or domain. I've been Simon Dan. Have yourselves a great day. I'll see you tomorrow where we're going to look at a uh, flat earth documentary called Scamtarctica. We're going to break it up into a few parts. Tomorrow will be part one. I'll see you then. Goodbye. If not, make sure you do your experiment at the weekend. See ya.